Drew is just holding down, holding down Scottsdale. Uh, Wait, what? Yeah. I figured he was just gonna catch up with. You. I thought he was here. Nah, Are you recording? Yeah. Drew, if you're yeah. watching, sorry, man. Yeah, I'm sorry. They yeah. miss you though. We do. We're gonna we show do. these early bears without you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to another episode here with the Private Selection Boys. What's up, guys? guys? AKA the Early Bird Boys. Now you guys have seen their little office tour, but you guys haven't seen it in a while. And as you guys just can tell by the entrance right here with the Monster Energy drinks, obviously their new subscriber, yep. hundred thousand plaque. Yeah. Congrats, yeah. boys. Yeah. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you. you guys are what, 250 now, I think? Yeah, by the oh time God. that one came in, we were already at 200. Yeah. yeah. By the time we got it into the mail. So things are kind of, we've been getting about a thousand subscribers a day now almost. It's huge. But yeah, a lot of stuff's changed in here since then. So we got the whole setup set up. So the on, on air, and you guys will see why we have the on air here in a second. Um, I don't remember if we talked about this last time, but we got the barbershop set up Tuesday. That was the network room there, saying. It was the network yeah. room. There's yeah. Video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to whatnot. Shout out whatnot. Link in the description. Save $10 <laughs> off so, your first uh, person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Plug it in. Haircuts every Tuesday, complimentary from us. We just want to make sure that our guys play the right image and play the role that they are when they're selling things for us. So free haircut. So we decided to build a barbershop. For those of you who know who we are, the Early Bird Boys. So if you watch any of our Early Bird episodes, you will see this is where me and Ian get down, do all the uh, early releases and break the internet, as well as you make your way over here. So if they don't remember, those are all your guys' personal boxes? Yeah, those are our personal and collections. Yeah, yeah, those are Some actually- Some employees too, right? Yeah, 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 so I just encouraged everyone to bring them in and we sticky noted everyone's name in each box. And so a lot of my guys buy, sell, and trade, so they'll come up here and pull a box out yeah. and everything like shift down. <laughs> I was just gonna say, I low key need to do this. And if you make your way this way, this is our newest edition. Um, we went ahead and just invested a lot of money into creating the new podcast. Um, I guess I'll plug that right now, private conversations, as you see. And it's basically just another outlet for us to basically express and show other layers about us that's not just so much sneaker related. Shout out to Optic Gaming. And shout out Sponsored to Optic Gaming. Gaming. Sponsored by yeah. Optic. Oh yeah, Photo. we show everything. This is where you guys see all the our uh, right images that go crazy, you know? Sneaker news, nice kicks, I mean, you name it. Jordan's daily. All the photos are taken here. Nothing too crazy, as you can see. It's nothing that goes, a lot that goes into it. I feel like this setup is very bare minimum. And I think it's really the camera plays the most factor. In, in doing this. We have our old sign, Thor. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's uh, when Yeezys were kind of yeah, ruled the original, world. This was before was Jordan 1 sh and yeah. Nike shifted back into place around 2018. Yeah. Fit check the boys real quick. Yeah, I got a little yeah. something on. I'll start down below. You know, a little unreleased. Lost, We're early bird boys, so I had to. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, lost, lost, lost them and then found them. Found them. Uh, Eric Manuels. All day. Um, and then this is our blase tee that we just did. This is a, this is something that we use to push people to be a light in someone's darkness. So basically this is highlighting Suicide Awareness Month. So we always love to push people in positive directions and we love to give back. So what we did is we teamed up with Blase and as you can see it says, let's not be so, and then we put our logo private over it. And it's basically saying like, if you're going through something in life, like let somebody know, or if you see somebody having a hard time, be that positive light and, and, and shine it on them because you never know what a small conversation with somebody can do and lead into the opposite direction. And so we dropped, I think it was like 500 total pieces yeah. and a portion of that will go towards a charity here. Once we sell through, uh, we'll donate a portion of it to a suicide awareness charity. Larry, oh, what you got? Human made, head to the socks, <laughs> <laughs> cause, shorts, sock, and then I threw on the California. I went through a couple different shoes. I threw on the cactus plant today. I threw yeah. on a couple oh, different shoes. Yeah. yeah, and I just didn't Sweet. like it, and I put on my California. Like and went trust, on old trusties. Old trusties. Trusties. Like right How long does it take every morning for you to pick out a fit? Lately, it's been rough. <laughs> Lately, it's been rough. Um, Especially for filming, because it can't be one you've actually worn correct. on film. Correct. And so, oh, you guys care about that? Yeah. 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 I, we always oh. try to. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't, I don't, care. Care. No, no, I don't care at all. Uh, gallery department. I got the 2014 Harold Hunter skate tee. So you see the little CDG on the back, CDG collab. Uh, these are bootleg gallery department because they're minimal, but they made them look identically, even with the color yeah, inserts yeah. To, to gallery department. Yeah. And then I got black cement threes. And then my buddy Isaiah Shale, which you guys will see here in a second about Isaiah Shale, uh, actually made this for me. And he made the own patterns and sewed it all together and gave it to me as a gift. Same, uh, represent, you know, I'm like you, man. I, I, <laughs> yeah, this is <laughs> like, I got represent guys. some common hype shorts and I got Dodgers. Looks next good. Time. Yeah, I got some vintage, some Always. vintage, some uh, Free Money Force. Uh, I love that shit. Bro, I, I didn't realize how big the suit's calves were. They're huge. Yeah. See that, bro? Oh my God. Show them that. 
Show them that. I, I, I hold, you I hold, turkey leg? just so you Blue guys know, you ever seen a turkey leg of the boy, fair? Yeah. Just so you guys know, I hold the record at my high school for squat, max, 720 pounds. Woo! Squat. It's a little so bit less there. there. It's a little so bit less than there. There, there, show, show them. Show them. Yeah, let's go, let's go look at this. We haven't shown this on our channel. We haven't shown it on our social media. We haven't shown it anywhere. But. I guess we'll show y'all. And oh, yeah, the crazy part is, is we don't even know what we're gonna do. We don't know. We don't even know how to release like how this. We're gonna, we don't know how we're gonna execute the drop. We grab, this is so I'm guessing the way you talk talking about it, it's custom Jordan ones, right? Okay. It is. Wow. You're pretty. Yeah, you're getting, getting close. close. You're getting very close. Yeah. So we're yeah, gonna do close. we're gonna do a uh, collab with Isaiah, who does Isaiah custom Shale, work, who also just dropped his clothing collection that he oh, does shit. like the the, the stack like, pants one. Yeah, super dope. Can you guys tell me what shoe this is? It's gotta be Air Force. No, it's a shoe. It's oh, it's the box. Oh, then they already. He yeah, already, I was gonna say the Ronald yeah. McDonald's. Ronald McDonald's, McDonald's okay? Not the yeah. no, 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 Ronald McDonald's. Ronald McDonald's. Okay. Light like fusion, fusion. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah, you, yeah. let's let me show you what this turned into, which is nuts. Okay, this is the Ronald McDonald's turned into Chicago's, right? It's wicked. Wicked. Louis Vuitton, um, from Scarf, I believe, and you can see. So real Louis Vuitton. Real Louis yeah, Vuitton. Real this Louis is real Louis Vuitton, um, with the custom tag, and every single one is numbered. Those are tough. It's a dope looking shoe. I like it. But it's great. Go ahead. Yeah. Ian's not big on customs, I but hate customs. and I asked him about it. I was like, you don't even really like customs. He's like, put my name's on it, so it's different. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. This one's acceptable That's because it's exactly. actually our it's custom with our name on it and numbered. But now, I didn't realize the Ronald McDonald's makes such a great base shoe. Like, yeah. Leather quality nice. still. Yeah. Seems yeah. It's good. nice. It's yeah. nice. Those I like this guy. With Isaiah, so they're right. wanting to get That's pairs it. and stuff, but we don't know how to drop them. Yeah. It feels weird. But it's not uncomfortable? No, it's, it's, like, it's even softer. It. It's like ridging in the back. Yeah, it's like even softer. It's super plush. That's All right, let's get into some shoes. Yeah, let's do what you heard it here first, for. though. Right. Boom. There you go. These Ooh. are wicked. The Amas. I love when they do the off white midsole. Those grew on me. They That's grew on me true. because the more I handle them and the more I f with them, the more I really, really, that was really the very like first them. first pair that was posted, I think. A winter shoe. Again, I, I like when they do the. Uh, I like when they do the ankle like this, yeah. as opposed to like when the material comes yeah, yeah, out yeah, yeah, and yeah. around. The, they did with the off whites too. Mm -hmm. and again, that's why I'm saying when you compare these two, as far as executional, as far as like the suede and the quilted and the leathers and everything that goes into with the hidden messages and things of that matter, I, I, I like when they do that kind of stuff. It, it brings the value up more, in my opinion, than if I were just to have a normal five or four and I'm reselling it for four or five hundred dollars. It's like, what am I getting out of it? Yeah, like, look at the, the quality. quality you're getting quality. something yeah, out of it. Look at the quality on it. Flip it over, so you can see it's, it's really, gnarly. All it's really through. stitched it looks through. It looks like it's gonna be real comfy. Yeah. yeah, not bad. But I don't know though, not, because- But this may just eat. I'm but like, I have, the, I have <laughs> the, you know what I mean? It's so pointy. I have the, but when you're driving, this little right here, it's you in the back scrapes side. my kill in your ankle, ankle bro. Yes. I hate it. Do that, yeah, do those two. I don't think y'all seen these. You seen these? Uh, no. Oh, yeah, well. we did last time. No, maybe no, it was, no, it was I don't a different color. color. No, different yeah, color. it's the other two colorways. Why did they keep dropping these? Okay, so next we have the canary yellow off-white mid. I say canary yellow because... Not that, it's the other Oh, it's the other it's pair. There. Virgil's website, canary yellow, plays off of the candle, which is also the piece that he wore at Met Gala two years ago, and it was the candle from Cinderella. They don't technically say these are the canary yellows, but we all know if you know, you know type deal. I mean, the, the quality's there. The quality's the so much better than the can, than the other pairs, the canvas ones. These move for you guys in store though? Uh, we, no, they do not yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Not, not these, that. the other two, the other two. Yeah, the other, the two. other two, yeah. it, it's, it's really just how we're- I have it. not bought Correct, so think about yeah, where we are. Texas and Arizona, this is not, if I live in Philly or something, like yeah, there's probably plenty of times per year that that makes sense to we wow. probably we probably <laughs> bought like I'd say max maybe twenty five pairs and I, we probably have like ten left. But this those one, two are now. This one on the other hand I feel is a little bit more relatable to everybody because it's just white on white on white. Sure. And then you have the uh, graffiti hit as well. And I always tell this story because there's a Grin Reaper right here. And three years ago, me and Larry went to Chicago to his first exhibit that he did at MCA. And we went through the Church and State, which was, was his uh, gift shop. And he had this acrylic, it was basically an art piece. And it was an acrylic board that had a Grin Reaper and then an orange chain, cause he was about to drop the Louis Vuitton collection with all the orange chains. And then he had another one that had a Felix the Cat on it. And my buddy, Lil Christian, I talk about this all the time cause he's really into design. He goes to school for architectural design. He looks up to Virgil really big and told me that that uh, Grim Reaper was a message. He was letting everybody know that he was sick and that his time was coming. And so he was putting these subliminal message all over the place and nobody knew. Even thinking to like the Ikea collection, right? right. The clock with the, says temporary sure. across it. You know like, what I mean? Just, I, now I when you go back yeah, and think of those things, you're like, holy shit. 
it, like, wow. boom, the world got hit by his own page saying that he had passed out of nowhere. Yeah, that's wild. That's ridiculous. Which, you next we person? have, have no. you seen the person? No, no. All right, person. next we have the eBay dunk, Sandy Bodecker. Damn, bro, no socks in these? First. You doing it? He's doing it. He's <laughs> yeah. already done it. Nah. It's going to be a steam room up in Super here. Steam yeah. room. <laughs> so I feel like this is more of just like a... a a Art talking piece, piece yeah. in a sense. It's not, I don't think it's for comfortability. I don't think of anything like that when they're doing that. They're really trying to like dial in on the history of SPs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got dogs out in the, uh, I love insoles and sneakers. You like what? I love the insoles. Yeah. Like I love when they do a special insoles. You want to know what's crazy? There's actually one called the Founders Edition. That's Sandy Bodecker and his son, the uh, RIP Sandy. Who is the Godfather? And then yeah. that's the original pair that they Who have. This I want to see him again. This one's oh, yeah, at the yeah. bottom of that stack, so it's like hella crap. <laughs> there's, there's yeah, a lot there's a right fresh. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. so he's in a couple of events. Fill him in with the controversy of these. Okay, so, on Instagram. which is great. This is yeah, actually yeah. perfect time. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> you just got a spark in your eye. Dion, Dion, which is the creative director of Concepts, um, when we posted these, we leaked these first to the internet. Um, and uh, Nice Kicks posted the pictures of them. Dion went on IG and then commented under it and said, bands aren't black. Dot, dot, dot. Which dot, can, dot, mean dot. A million can mean a million things, right? Yeah. The and world took it as. The world took it as their, their reps face, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. But it's like, bro, why would I, how do I have this? Like, well, this isn't repped, bro. No one's repping that. No one's repping this. No one's repping this. Like, but what's crazy is, I actually have a photo I'll show you. Retail pairs, uh, I believe, are starting to come out. Box pairs. Mm -hmm. Black, Black bands. bands. You said great band was friends and family made me. Yeah, right? yeah, because all the other ones have been like that. Yeah. Every other friends and family pair that or that has the special box pair. Special uh, box. Every special box comes with the alternate extra bands, right. and then and the they're, GR and pairs. They're great. And they're usually, so it's like, yeah, we know there's probably going to be great bands with these as well, but you just have to understand that they come with black. Right. And so a whole month went by, and we never even responded because we don't need to respond because we know we, what we have. Clearly, yeah, you yeah. can see that we know where we stand. Yeah. It's, but uh, it's too early for reps to even be made. Yeah. Which is funny because the leading guy on YouTube, Snide, that reviews rep pairs, got the first lobster that was ever produced from a rep factory and he reviewed it. Against and, ours. And against ours and said, theirs are not reps. And because. then went on to call us pirate selection because yeah. he doesn't know how we He's got, like, I don't know, I don't know how, he doesn't know how we uh, harbored these uh, off of yeah. wherever we got them because they're real. And then uh, we let the smoke settle, and in our favor, what happened? John reached back out to me and DM me and was yeah, like, yeah. that's not what I meant to say. Sorry, I don't want to do all that. <laughs> and then but he said, you can screenshot you this can screenshot and put it on the internet. Yeah, and so we did, and yeah. we put the but apology on the internet. It's just like, but here's what I don't get, right? If the retail pairs really come with black bands, then what was the point of that comment? Well, I thought yeah. in his message, he was like, I didn't. Like, he, he did, was but like, he yeah, did, but it was like, it wasn't like a for sure yeah. statement. Yeah. You know? yeah, and then he called about, Nike like, and they were like, yep, yeah, the bands are black. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me DM these guys. <laughs> no. Oh, no. this has now an official, Halloween. yeah, official date, October 27th, Halloween shoot. Why did they year. just drop stuff October 27th? No, we were just not gonna we have on by Halloween. We were on whatnot, we were like, we, we did one of these on auction. We we're like, this is the only place you're gonna get a neck face that you Seriously. can actually wear for Halloween. Or get a Halloween shoe period that yeah. drops <laughs> and get it yeah, before exactly, Halloween. Bro. Interesting. I no, love when, I love when they do completely this. different. I love when they do the really? switch on the toe box. Yeah, though. all different patches on the other shoe. Well, that's kind of sick. Yeah. There's actually the other, the pair's right there in the room. Yeah. I love when they do the, the swoosh. Mini swoosh. Mini swoosh. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of the patches. I, I like Neckface. He's a dope graffiti artist, though. I think the concept is You can see, sick. like, he spins yeah, like, off of, like, Tales from the Crypt on one. This one's got, like, some furry patch on it. Even has stuff down on the sole as well. Neck the face. insoles are sick. Yeah, they are. Yeah, so the insoles are sick. Quick. Yeah, Neckface. He does dope stuff. Cool shoe. Let's talk about these, because I feel like these will do actually really, really well in the resale value. You think so? I, I completely disagree. What? Yeah. I, I think those pay very well with each other. Because it to me, it's like the uh, budget-friendly Colette or like Storm Blue. <laughs> <laughs> you have some hope because it's a white toe box, but other than that, I, this is an outlet. You know what people were saying that's it's, so weird to me? Yeah. They were calling this a mocha. Like, that it plays off of the mocha tone. Like, as far as like the dark and then a little bit lighter in the back. And I was like, how do people see mocha? No, I don't, I don't I see that at all. I get more like smoke gray with the red hue. Yeah. You know what I'm um, talking about? Yeah, yeah. I don't even get that. I get, I, I mean, it's anything. It all over the place. They're like, mocha, 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 mocha. I don't know what, what do you get? get. Yeah. I get Dallas Cowboys out of that. Totally. It's yeah, true. this is, totally. I think yeah. this is. Yeah, yeah you guys would yeah. today's market. Yeah. yeah. Y'all seen that one yet? The Alma? No. Alma 12? I don't normally enjoy 12s, but. 
I just don't like burgundy, bro. Yeah, I just Burgundy's don't just like tough. burgundy. Yeah, I, don't I like how they made that white. Oh, oh, no. Did they quote oh, the inside? No. Oh, they did. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They did. That's like that's it's great quality good. twelve though. Yeah, it's really it's good, good quality. It's a good twelve. And you can go on there, but supposedly it comes in a black bag, and you don't know which one you're gonna get. Oh. This one, from what we were told originally, was friends and family. This, this one. Yes. But so I don't know if that's true or not. This is the only one that came where we didn't have we to didn't cut have to it. Cut. I should have gr that one. I mean, for us, this is Dallas colorway, so of course I know this isn't. This is more. It's a uh, Yankees, right? Right. You didn't tell us, Colin. Yeah. No, oh yeah, yeah, New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I was right. You, you, you say they're gonna bang, but like to be honest, we've had them downstairs for like pretty cheap, and they're not selling like that. But it's because they're not ripped. No they're not knows. ripped. No one knows. You, so think what, about this with no rip. Like, it's not right? like. Right I think I think they'd sell better non ripped. They don't. Because I think right they've be, <laughs> been there for a but couple see, months. But in Arizona and we're in Texas. But so we like, move SPs really well. If anybody's right gonna now. move them, they wouldn't be you. I'm telling for sure, you. But I'm yeah. telling you. I like I the on the. I like the on the toe right here. But I will say this: that happens a lot to us we get stuff so early that people don't even know what they are to even come in to look there's not yeah. enough brand there's yeah, not enough there. time they're just seeing it like oh that's and then the shoe drops and then everybody comes in again and we're like bro they've been here for three months yeah signs are sick so i love that oh shoe. gosh what's the deal with these gr or no 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 nothing yet upside down upside down so everybody's getting kind of like travis vibes yeah i mean they're limited right now as far as pairs that are available like in the early pair market i so like that shoe i'm, I'm not, assuming it's I'm, gonna stay i'm like usually that. not a big fan of canvas but the colorways do it for me and just the uh the oh, look. stitch the holes yeah. on the i like boxes. the shoe in general like it's just a dope shoe yeah it reminds me a lot of the uh, core lines yeah yep. yeah Damn, oh, right. that's a great way to put it. Those core lines. You you got he's gonna be an animal this year. And I, so to be honest, I really just like Zion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw a picture the other that's day. That's crazy. Like, Super really like, like Latin. This is another one that like I dropped this and like no one ever talked about it again. Yeah. I this is Pawn this Shop. Again. It's a skate store in West Covina, California. And there was a rumor that this comes off, like rubs off. It looks like, like it. Body, it looks like it, but we like never body tried body it. We should, you should, you should maybe try it. Try it. Remember the try Jordan it. 12s, the wings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's same, kind of the same I, vibe, I can right? tell by the What if there's wings paint. underneath? We should do this live. We, 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 we got that no, green goo in the back that cleans our chains. <laughs> yeah. Oh, worry. shit, that probably would <laughs> take off anything. I'm not a fan, man. not a fan. They're cool. I don't like the brown on brown on brown. Beyond the colorway, like I just bought my first pair. I got the yellow ones yesterday. They're, they're, they're they're just, they look cozy, but it's something no cozy, one would ever bro. buy. If it, I just feel like they're not that cozy. I wore it for a sneaker con day, and it was just like it was like whatever. If it if it weren't a collab, it would sit on a shelf. Right. So I got these three set up right here because today I want to go over two and then line up top five in order. We'll start off first with. Yeah. I was watching a Cool Kicks video the other day. They had someone bring in an early pair, but they didn't rip it because they didn't know. He wasn't sure about the authenticity of it. Oh yeah, so, yeah they never did it. Bro, this is interesting. There's so many, there's so many rep pairs out there. I only bought. I wait. That's why I, I didn't. I didn't drop this for like Simple. way after people that yeah. drop pairs, and then I finally got access to this specific pair. Right. Yeah, I I saw you post this, and I was just like, I like them better in person than in pictures because yeah. the dark the, the black is you can kind of has color. a wash tone right. to it so you can see the different it, it is kind of yeah. like a two-tone black yeah. do you think that b on the back resembles stormy or dior because people say it's dior but he someone also says that stormy was it stormy right like that our favorite your favorite thing is B's. favorite thing yeah. it's probably stormy I don't know. I, it, to me i i said it's not dior because of the, the quality the quality right there, and there's no dior branding right there's no dior branding anywhere or you know they numbered the other pairs right and then if you look the insoles different from every other Insole, the insole they've done. It's most like a motorsport style, uh, like logoing and branding. I think the white stitching is tight. That's what Scott like was saying. Contrast. He liked it better. I said it looked like true religion like pants. It. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like black hats? Uh, fours? Yeah. Uh, I'm not like a huge. I don't wear type of shoe. I, I, I think I think black hats are trash. They just, they're a thousand dollars. Here's the other one though, but the other one just has the Air Jordan wing on it. And if you subtly look, you can see like a little 3M cactus jack, kind of in there hitting a little bit. But they did like a felt on the inside, and I feel Sweetie like it gets hot, foot. bro. Yeah, well, I feel like it gets a little about. hot. Okay, and then next you have what's supposedly a uh, women's release, the olives. Women's release, huh? Yeah. Extended. Yeah. It's got to be extended. And this is what Scott was talking about with the insole. Oh, that is a lot. Insole is different on these than the, oh, that's cool. the other ones. Oh, that's yeah. hard. Yeah. Super, super cool. And the other, the other shoe is different also. I feel I, they put white laces on it. Looks way better. I was gonna say I white white laces. I think look the best. 
Got like these like Cactus Jack Motorsports kind of style. Remember when he dropped that EP with the, the, the car that was wrapped or whatever? It's kind of the similar kind of Jack little. Boys. Jack yeah, Boys. Jack Boys one. And then the color of laces are always cool. I love how he does like a four set with a lot of the stuff that he does. So that way you can interchange yeah. it with a ton of different colorways. But the real question is what it all boils down to is they say that this AJ1 silhouette legacy that's been going on with Travis Scott and this deal that they've been having coming to an end. is coming to an end. So if we're, we already did it on our podcast the other day, but if you're, I wanted to see both of y'all's opinions. If you were to organize it from best to worst, I want to know what yours is first. Yeah, I'm going. Okay, we're around in the same area. Just going like that. Mine is very similar, except I switched. I think those two. I, I can rock with this. I like this. I location. could I could change these though. I just never. This is number one for me. I have these three. This has always been my favorite. That's what he said. But I, I find myself wearing this one way more. I think he does that too, don't you? No, I don't even wear that. Oh no. Oh, it's the high that you wear. I wear the high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't have the high money. So, so then what's your rotation? I, two pairs of I definitely <laughs> like these, but I just don't know what I wear them with. But uh, <laughs> see, this is the thing though. It's like I don't, I don't know how I feel about these. Why? Uh, just in comparison to these two, like I saw that these were releasing, and I, I really haven't worn these. Always mm -hmm. like on a grand opening, and usually like when I get a pair, I'm excited about like I'll, I'll let it rip. About it? I'll let it rip for like a week. You wore a one time type thing, and yeah, then never but, wore like, it usually again. Usually I'll, I'll put some wears in. Yeah. Uh, I would say, I would say this. I'd go that route. Really, frag too. That's almost similar to him. Yeah, Fry I'll just switch. Y'all just switch. This, Fry this is, one. I think, my ultimately favorite. I guess you could say this. We were talking. I just wear this one. We more. talked about how this one, one is probably the most worn one, and it's also the most faked through stock edge. Totally is. So we that's get, and yeah, that's why I went to the back of the list for me. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's, yeah. A, we could do that's why Larry was like. That's why Larry's like. That's how I feel about these. These two in the back. Move these two. These are still all-time favorite. These, I have, feel like they have a lot of potential and I think it's because of the multiple Laces. colors. Totally. So in terms of wearability, these are definitely getting the most fits. I have these, don't wear them. I have this, I'll never wear it. And then I'll wear this with a tuxedo, <laughs> but I'm already married. This is a shoe <laughs> for Chief Keep when he wears his full fit yeah. Trueys. But yeah. just know, the early bird boys gave it to you first. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's right. Always. Boys, thanks for the time. Yeah, Always appreciate it. it. Early bird special. I just know what you guys rank in the comments down below. One through five. What's your guys' rank? Yep. Uh, leave a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a comment. Subscribe to the channel. Go subscribe to the boys as well. Please. Check out the podcast. Check Please out check their pod. Their, uh, their merch for the mental oh, yeah. awareness. Yeah. PRVTselection.com. That's right. You know where to get it. They're on Whatnot just like us. Yep. Just find them on Whatnot. Um, yeah, we do auctions. So we auction a lot of pairs off. We usually start them at a dollar or a hundred bucks. Yeah. One of the it's going to be our new thing is like auctioning off. Like, like see that box? We didn't even go through that box. Yeah. That's all early pairs. Yeah. But all, everything in that box is unreleased. We're just going to auction it. We're just going to auction it, it yeah. starting at a dollar. So. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it, guys. All love. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Sure. Always a pleasure. Yes, Thank sir. you, guys. Always Appreciate fun. it, guys. Pleasure's ours. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir.